Marcus. Our player spotlights, as I mentioned, Tyler Love, tight end from Rancho Santa Margarita, California. By way, of, by way of Saddleback College and the U.S. Navy. A lot of different things. Tyler, good to see you. 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 Absolutely. You're, uh, your third season, I guess, here at San Marcos. You sat back for a good 20 season with an injury before bouncing back in that play last year. This year, I think uh, the whole tight end group's kind of been battling through some things. And, and uh, we go back to Saturday, and, and you're, you're looking at guys like Austin Gershaw and, and Titus Lyons having to fill in, and, and, and you know, they jump right in there and got after it as a group. You know, what's that room been like this year with, uh, you know, the, the additions of those guys and, 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 and along with Jackson Lyman and Micah Hilton? And what's that just been like? Uh, it's been a great group, man. I mean, we've been super competitive with each other, which, I mean, brings out the best of us. Uh, out of all of us, and uh, you mentioned Austin Greshel and uh, Titus Lyons. I mean, they're both young players, and, and competing with them throughout spring, throughout summer, and fall camp, man. I mean, they, they put up a, a performance out there, and, and they really helped the offense out there. And uh, that goes to show just the competitive, uh, the competitiveness of the room is just uh, it's, it's critical, and it, and it helped them out, and it helps me out, and it helps everyone in the room out. And if you kind of watch, you know, offensive trends over time, they, they kind of evolve, and I think the offense here in the Jacks Battle has done that a little bit over the latter part of last season and into this season. That's being featured more formations with tight ends on the field more often than maybe the first couple of seasons. So you need the bodies, obviously, at the tight end position. What's asked of you guys now versus, you know, maybe two seasons ago when you first started? How's that position changed a little bit? Yeah, uh, I think we've just been more incorporated into the into the passing game. Um, we've, we've been able to handle uh, pass blocking instead of really just the first year I was been here. We, we, we uh, really focused just on the run game, but now, I mean, we're really getting uh, – we're pass blocking, we're running routes, and we're, we're blocking well too. So that's keeping us on the field, and it's adding more formations, and uh, it's putting more tight ends on the field, and, and, and it's been working. And, any, any, you know, if we can get more tight ends on the field, that's awesome for me and awesome for the group. So uh, it's real fun to be out there with them. Yeah, you know, Jamar Daniels is the yeah. guy that makes from time to time. Uh, so, awesome, man. So Bill Daniels getting out there at the yeah. tight end position. And, you know, personally, for you, you've been through some highs and lows, and all the way to the losing side since you've been in San Marcos. How fun was that the other night to, to control the game from start to Oh, it was, all, it, was, it was awesome, man. I mean, I mean being, you know, at, at an out-state team where, where they were big favorites, and I went the other home, and uh, me and my girlfriend came out for the first night, man, and, and really, uh, in any way, we came up here at Timmy's, and it was a great atmosphere, man, and, uh, we hope to be back for many more wins. Yeah, yeah, really cool. Megan, by the way, thank you for coming out tonight, Megan. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so I'm working nice. I've been uh, in the Austin. She works at the VA, so she's, uh, she's working hard and she's studying to become a registered nurse. Very awesome. Well, Tyler, again, thank you for being here tonight. We've been to the Outstate game, and uh, I couldn't help but notice on social media you were kind of clapping back a little bit to some Outstate fans about the acting that you did uh, in the game. Take it back to that play. Yeah, uh, I mean, going back to my junior college days, I played right tackle, and, and I, I took pride and I had fun when the defensive lineman would come to the neutral zone and I would draw him outside. So um, I, I, I got up, the guy kind of was, was applying pressure on my head when, when we were on the ground, so I got up, I got him in his face, and, uh, you know, he, 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 didn't, he didn't push me hard, he just kind of touched my chest, and uh, I took advantage of the opportunity, and I did a flop, and uh, it, it was uh, successful, I got the flag. There you go. Well, Bill Clinton mentioned earlier in the time in the Navy, first, thank you for your service. I know you and yeah. I have talked about this before, four years serving in the Navy, 2013 through 2017, before we decided to resume a football career. Uh, what did you time? Uh, not a lot, man. I mean, I, I come from a, a, a family with military history, man, and, and just being able to serve my country and uh, have that experience, man, uh, it really helped me grow as a man and uh, as an individual, and it really helped me become a football player, too. Um, I mean, it was just a great experience, and uh, and I loved every minute of it. Something else you and I had the chance to talk about a few months back was a year ago, 2021, the team plays FIU in Miami, and they do so on the 20th anniversary right. on September 11th, and for the uniform reveal that week, you were featured because of your military background. The team will paint you out of helmets that actually recognize those from the state of Texas who passed away in the 9-11 event. How, what did that moment mean to you to be playing football on the 20th anniversary of that day and you're wearing that patriotic helmet? 
Yeah, man, it, it, it meant a lot. I mean, Andrew, our, you know, our equipment staff, they did a, a hell of a job with that uniform and, and uh, really, um, really, really showing off. Uh, 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 Not a big baseball guy, but nice, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it meant a lot, man. I mean, super cool. Uh, you know, I was six years old when 9-11 happened, and uh, it definitely had a big impact on my life growing up, and, and that's one of the reasons I decided to serve, and uh, just being able to uh, play football and do what I love on that day, it was really cool. I don't think I had to express what you said in Beach Miss Baseball to say that, by the way, so I got away with Probably it. Probably not. I would have thought it was the cheer. The cheer was for Andrew Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We should get a cheer for you. So, I'm not going to get some military background, but go back to your athletic background again. You're from California, and I remember you telling me that uh, you wanted to play wide receiver, and the coaches thought that you were way too, you weren't the right size to do that. So, to be more athletic, you did things like play water polo, and also you, you trained to be in an Ironman triathlon. Tell me a little bit more about that and how it helped you get into football shape. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so I, I stopped playing football after freshman year and my parents are like, you, you, you're not going to sit down around the, around the house and play video games all day, so you, you have to be So, you know, um, you know, growing up, I, uh, my, my uncle was a legendary water polo coach in, in Southern California and, and I played youth water polo and strength competitively. And my brother was doing that in high school, so I, I just kind of uh, just followed him and did that for uh, my, my, my sophomore and junior year. And, uh, Getting out of the Navy is when I really got into the triathlons, and uh, I mean that's that's swimming, biking, and running. So I, swimming was pretty easy for me just because I have that competitive swimming background. But um, yeah, it, it definitely would it help me get into uh, football shape. I mean, especially being an offensive lineman. Yeah, I was 230 pounds, but um, I mean you're you're on the field for every offensive snap, so you have to have some endurance. And uh, the endurance part of the triathlon definitely. Something else you and I talked about in that podcast a few months back was about the week, about your tattoos. Yeah. People couldn't see it in the podcast, uh, they didn't see them yeah. now. You want to tell us a little bit more about the significance behind your tattoos? Yeah, yeah. Well, when Grant and I were talking a couple months ago, and he asked me if I had any significance. No, I don't really have any significance. They're just awesome. Yeah. They're just cool, man. I got them. I, you know, I'm a fan of tattoos, and uh, I kind of I get them from... Uh, really world famous artists. I got a lot of my ink from uh, Japan and I was stationed up there. And uh, you know, it's kind of like, I, I, I kind of like collected them from uh, tattoo artists, you know? Pretty cool. Very cool. Was football in the plan after the uh, after the Navy did that come about after you had uh, to no, it, uh, it, it, came up, it came about when uh, I was on my first deployment. I was watching uh, football with some friends and uh, on deployment and uh, I remember seeing people I grew up with playing Division One ball and, and making it to a Division One football team, or even the NFL. Just seemed so unachievable growing up. Uh, like you, had to, you know, you had to be, you had to be either the dude at high school, which I didn't even play high school football, or you had to be a statistical freak, physical freak guy. But um, no, I mean, it really came about when I saw some people that I played Pop Warner with, or, you know, succeeding at the D1 level, and uh, I, I was like, I can do that. You know, I. I I, I, I was better than them when I was playing pop one with them. That was the competitive drive of me. And, uh, you know, when, when I got out, I was like, I'm going to use my GI Bill and try out for football. Right. And that started, at, the journey started at Saddleback College. Right. Where and why <laughs> Saddleback College? Uh, Saddleback College, that's in Orange County, California, Mission Viejo, California. It's hometown. So I got out of the Navy, and uh, my parents were still uh, in Orange County. My yeah. dad was an LAPD officer, so he was, he was finishing his, his time doing that. And uh, I was using my GI Bill to go to school at Saddleback. Um, my little brother was on the football team the year before I, I enrolled there. And uh, in 2019, I, that's when I decided to join. I got out in 2017. 2019 was the, the year I decided to join the team. And uh, I mean, to answer your question, it's just the hometown junior college. Sure. And it's, uh, it's, it's got a lot of uh, history with moving players to the next level. And uh, there's a couple, uh, Kyle Long came from there, uh, guard in the NFL, I was. Uh, Johnny Stan, some other guys. Um, they, they got a, a good history of moving people on. Natural progression question. Saddleback, I said Marcus, of course. How did that happen? Uh, yeah, so funny story. I mean, I, I, you know, the season ends, uh, the junior college season ends, um, and I'm not getting any any interest from any universities, really. Uh, so I thought football was over. 
And uh, I moved with my, my family and my girlfriend from Orange County, California to Boise, Idaho. And I started attending school at Boise State just as a student. Thought football was over and I was about halfway through that uh, spring 2020 semester. Uh, I get a call from Coach Hamilton saying he saw my highlight tape on Twitter. He, he, he loved what he saw and uh, offered me an opportunity to come down here. Yeah. It was a no-brainer. I know we're early in the week, getting ready for Troy. Uh, yep. Defense anchors. I call to Marshall, who's been there like eight years it seems. You know, uh -huh. what does uh, Troy present defensively for the uh, Bobcats offense on Saturday? Yeah, real good defense. I mean, it's been the same defense uh, that they were past two or three years with the same guys, so they're experienced. Uh, I know they had some good pass rushers from last year. Uh, one guy, 41, he was uh, a, a top sack leader, top, top tackle for loss guy. Um, so it'll be fun going against him, 41 versus 41. Um, but other than that, man, uh, I'm excited. I'm ready for any challenge. And, uh, and I don't care who you are or what team you are, I'm ready to go. First two receptions of your career have come this year. Congrats on that. Yeah, hey, Tyler Huff, our guest, as we get ready for Troy. Good luck to you on Saturday. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. It was awesome. Tyler Hoff, our uh, guest on tonight's Player Spot, presented by Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, protecting Texas since 1952, and a proud sponsor of Texas State Athletics. Fan Q&A is next when the Game Time Radio Show continues on the Texas State Radio Network from Fairfield.